All right, hey you guys, what's up? This is uh, Grayson from the Maximum Ammunition, and this week on Let's Talk About, I am playing Killing Floor, which is a cooperative first-person shooter game on Steam. Uh, it is pretty much based off of it's based out of England, and um, what you do is you fight off mutants that uh, a lab was working on trying to like um, uh, clone. I guess is a better way of saying. It. I think is what was said, I did a little bit of research on it before just to kind of get some of the facts straight. And it pretty much just made a bunch of mutants and now you're trying to fend them off. And in other ways, it's another type of zombie game. I don't know if they're considered 100% zombies, but um, it's definitely like that. Um, like I said, it was based out of uh, Europe, or not Europe, uh, London. And... Um, that means like there's the Euro, uh, euros and stuff like that in meters. Um, obviously, the USA is the weirdest because we have uh, you know the inches and feet. We don't use the metric system. So what you're about to see is the trader, which is where you can buy your weapons, armor, and stuff like that. Um, it it pretty much it uh it gives you a whole bunch of options. For weapons you want to buy, there's shotguns, machine guns, grenade launchers, bombs, knives, stuff like that, uh, and a flamethrower, which is what I end up picking for this round. You can also buy grenades and combat armor, which is definitely, definitely what you need, especially when you're me, because I'm really bad at this game. Um, I love this game, but I'm really bad at it. Uh, what you just saw was me accidentally giving me myself a health boost or a health pack. Or health syringe, health pack, what am I talking about? Health syringe. Uh, for if you ever get in trouble, you hit the Q, or that's what mine said at least. You hit Q and you pop out and you, you give yourself a health syringe to boost your health back up. And um, it helps a lot. It helped me in a couple of situations before. I was getting warmed up and I played and I got stuck in a situation, hit the Q, and I was all good to go. Um, probably my the biggest downfall to this game is the trading though um it gives you like a minute and a half and the reason it gives you a minute and a half is because this is uh cooperative and you can play with i think up to six people or five other people online so it's giving everyone a minute and a half to go to the trader get what they want and stuff like that but when you're playing solo you've got to just sit there and wait and um if you can see up in the uh, top left hand corner my screen recorder did cut it off for some reason i had it cropped not to but it did uh, there's an arrow that points to the trader and you can see how many meters you are away from the trader and that is so you can uh, tell during the round where you need to be because there's some maps that are just huge and you can be almost 300 meters away from the trader and that's not what you want to do especially if you need to go get ammo or uh, more combat armor. My opinions on the flamethrower in this game is it's not really that great. It's fun to use, though, if you're just trying to have fun. Uh, a lot of the weapons, as you'll see, I, I, I'm pretty sure I get an assault rifle next. They kick like crazy. It's really, really, really hard to use. Um, but that just also adds interesting parts to the game. And um, those are really my only complaints about the game. And if you can tell when you shoot something or with a gun... The, scroll, the whole screen kicks, which is a really cool feature, acting as if you were holding that gun, shooting, and um, makes the game a little bit more fun, more, I guess, per se, realistic. Um, I, I killed the last mutant slash zombie here, and uh, instead of making you guys watch every time the trader, I just made it to where you're only going to have to watch the first one so I could explain it. Um, here, I'm using, I think, an M4... And uh, you're going to be able to tell there's a ridiculous amount of kick up uh, on the gun when I shoot it. Um, a, it's, it just makes it insanely hard to use. I guess you're more supposed to aim for bodies, but I aim for headshots. And as you can see right there, when you get a headshot, uh, the screen slows down, uh, making it an awesome effect as you can see I guess the brains of the mutant slash zombie explode pretty much um, obviously as each level progresses the mutant slash zombie things which is what I'm just gonna call them now they uh, 
they uh, get progressively harder. Right now, or this level, uh, we now have those crawling things, the normal ones, the guys with the spiked arms, and guys with chainsaws on their arms. It, it, it and um, I did, I think the short, yeah, I did the short game. And in fact, I did this on like medium, I think. So uh, obviously it can get leagues and leagues harder than uh, what what it is now because this just makes it look really easy. And you know if you're just not if you're not really into wanting to play for 30 minutes or so on one map or if you want to play fun and just want to go hop in and get a quick game done, then this is definitely what you want to do. You want to set it on short and like medium or something and it's a good challenge. But it's also fun at the same time. So um, I end up like almost trapping myself and dying here by uh, trying to jump off that ledge but didn't want to, risking it because I didn't know if it would kill me or not. And I was in the middle of recording and obviously when you're on the fourth round, you don't want to go off and kill yourself because then you have to restart recording. Um, which makes me sound lazy. Now if you saw in the right hand corner of my screen or now right in front of me, these guys, they have like launchers that shoot fire or electricity or something like that at you, making them very, very difficult to kill and very difficult in, in just a general to kind of like dodge and stuff like that. Um, a quick fact about this game. This game was developed by uh, Unreal and it was first a mod for Unreal Tournaments, I believe. Yeah, let me double check on that real quick. Sorry, I had my notes, but my iPad locked up on me. It was a mod for Unreal Tournament 2004. And the mod came out in 2005. Um, and it was also released on the market, or the Steam market, in May 14th, 2009 for Microsoft Windows. And it came out for Mac in 2010. And this past year, it came out for Linux. Um, now we're to the final wave, and if you saw earlier, I placed pipe bombs to kill this guy. This is the final boss, which has a minigun on his arm, and it also has the ability to go invisible. So, he has an unridiculous amount of health, also making him, obviously, very hard to kill. The, I'm using, like, the Husk Fireball Launcher, and as soon as I see him, I start unloading shots into him. Um... Pipe Bomb does a lot of damage, and you see he runs into it, but he also disappears real quickly. I don't know if he has the ability to regain health or not, but I do know uh, if he gets in a situation and he can get out of it, he will do so, as you just saw, making it hard and really hard to kill him because you don't know where he is, and you can't hear him until he comes visible again, and that usually doesn't happen. In fact, I had to go find him, which ended up scaring the crud out of me because he makes a like a, a deep yelling noise when he sees you and um, I've never really like actually tried to go find him before honestly I always just wait until he comes to me but I was getting impatient about after 30 seconds of shooting him and him dis disappearing I wanted to go find him so I do so now he just appears randomly which freaked me out and then I just start to unload shots into him uh, the video is about to end because I kill him now I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I also want to give a quick uh, message of hope to everyone that was a part of the Boston Marathon thing. Uh, keep the thoughts of the families of the ones who died and the ones who were hurt during that. Uh, again, thank you for watching this video and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys.